Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. Now, Billy and Beth were kind enough to send me a note about uh, a bunch of puzzles they actually have out now. They've, I think they've only recently, within the last few weeks, started posting to Logic Masters Germany, which is where I tend to get all the puzzles that I do, um, that they have a bunch of stuff out there, um, what have you. And it looks like a lot of their puzzles are somewhat on the difficult side. So like in the three, four uh, star type range, this one is one of their easiest ones, I think that I've seen uh, in terms of how it's listed as ranking. Um, so I figured I'd give this one a go real quick, try to get this one done, and then we'll upgrade to some of the harder puzzles and give those a shot. So with that said, let's jump into the see what's going on with this guy and let's get going. So in a wilds, crocodiles, these guys do look like kind of crocodiles, don't they? Either you can see them like sticking their heads out in the reflection or whatever, or you can look at them from top view maybe. Anyway, oh, we've got, uh, it's by Billy Beth, like I said, normal Sudoku rolls. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine, once each. Uh, green lines have a difference of at least five between adjacent digits, that's normal uh, German whispers. So whatever this one is, this one will be five away from it. Um, purple lines are consecutive non-repeating digits in any order, so those are Renban. So these guys will be some set of consecutive digits in some order. So one, two, three would work. Then we have black dots show a ratio of one to two between digits, and white dots show a difference of one between adjacent digits. So uh, consecutive values on the white dots, one to two ratio, or one is double the other on black dots. So these are all very standard um, Sudoku rules, so let's just dive into this one. Have a little bit of fun, and then uh, we'll challenge ourselves in the next uh, couple tries of their puzzles. So, uh, links in the description below, as always. Let's get at this guy. All right, so first thing, let's start with fives. I think I noticed a couple of, yeah, there's a five right here. Obviously, you can't put a five on a German Whisper, and you can't put a five on a black Kropke. And can we say anything else about those other ones at the moment? I don't think we can. Um, so let's start maybe thinking about our crocodiles and what we can start to glean from some of these items. Now, do we want to start with the limitations of the crop key dots, or do we want to just think about them more holistically? Um, like where do fours and sixes go? You can never put them in any of these little scaly humps here because you'd have to put uh two nines or two ones on either side okay so this here is a four five six we had something similar like this uh in a previous puzzle where it was the four fives and sixes were being pushed into certain areas uh but anyway uh these are not fours or sixes let's see if we can find anything else now we can't say these little nubs at the end aren't because they could be a four with the nine or a six with a one um well okay so here's another little thing though we do know that one of these two has a four on it and the other one has a six on it so we can say these are from four three six two and eight now exactly how that's going to help us i don't entirely know but and one of those two could be, or both of these could be. What are, let's see, let's color these things. Are kind of hard to see just how they all line up. So you, you, you are going to be the same. Now these guys here are all going to be another version. Let's just put that in. Now, does that actually tell us anything about these other ones? I don't think it really does. Right? Because I don't think we can say these are yellows or purples. Well, I guess they can't all be purples. Let's be at one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, that's all the thought we had to put in. These are yellow, these are purple. Now the question is going to be, how does that help us? Can we somehow coordinate between these two to, to sync up which ones are yellows, which ones are purples? I'm going to do a different color on these for the moment, just to uh, 
have that in the bank and then we'll see if anything kind of shines from there. Now, if these have to be the same, they have to, they're either lows, both lows or highs, obviously. Mm. Well, I guess there isn't really any major understanding between those two, is there? And okay, yeah, we, we can correlate these back here. These guys can't be the yellow. Therefore, these are. And the, the reason is that we would then have four yellows, which means either all of the highs or all the lows, but there is a low and a high down here. So we can never put those guys in like that. Okay, so at least we've got these guys correlated together now. How do we make further progress. Um, let's think about that. Because knowing that these are the same, does that do anything for us? The problem is this could just be a five, let's say, and this could be, what, like a six, seven? And then a one and a two would work kind of a thing. Or what if this was a low or a high, let's say. Let's say it was four, and these got went down low to like three, two. Yeah, that still seems like it would work. Um, okay. Either of these guys doing anything for us, or same thing over here then. One of... Oh, that's a five. Don't know why I didn't see that right away, but it's there. Uh, this is also a five, which means this is a five. Okay, that's what it was. I just saw a weird light down there. Um, yeah, I just didn't notice that this was the five here, and that sets things up to push this to be a five. One of those will be, and then we can start to think about how these work together. One of those will be, okay, so this has to either be a four or a six then. And then this will continue going in the same direction. So if it's five, four, it goes to three. If it's five, six, it goes to seven. But the more importantly, the four, six goes to a one, nine. Um, helpful? Not helpful? Really? Um, oh, this can't be a seven, duh, it's a three. Uh, so this has to be four. Yes, it is very helpful. <laughs> this has to be high, so it has to be nine. This has to be eight. This has to come back down one or two. This is one, two, or three. Uh, the three has to go with the six. So we know this is a purple. So these are the remaining purples, which are sevens and eights. Now, do we have, this has to be high, so it's six or eight. These are three or four, and this can't be a four, so it's three. Let's use our clues. That means this is six. This is not three. Good. Uh, these have to be low, one, two, threes, and fours, and this can't be three or four. This is a one, so two, two, one. This has to be seven or nine. And I don't think we can break those apart just yet, but let's go back up here now, because these are not threes or sixes, and there's no two. So this is a four, eight. If this is a four, this is the nine. That seems like it could... Oh, we know the purple are high. This is eight, so that's four. Let's fill all this stuff in. So six, sevens, eights, and nines. This is not eight. Uh, these are not sixes. These are not eights. That's a seven, nine pair. Uh, these are not sixes either. 
So we do have the seven, nine, which means this is a six. If we think about the row. This can't be a six because this can't be a one. So now we know that this is a six. Good. Uh, we can put these guys in, I guess. Ones, uh, sevens, and nines. That's obviously not a one, so we get a seven, nine pair. What are these guys? Two, three, and eight. It does appear to be. We are not three. Let's go to you guys. And then we'll try to correlate it back up here. One, twos, and threes. These are not ones, so this is. Okay, two, three, eight. This is either seven or nine as well. Let's go to here. One, two, three, and four. These are not fours. And this one can't be one. Can't be three. So it's either two or four, which means this is, well, this has to be a low digit here. So this is one, two, three, or four. Can't be three. So one of those two is a three, which means this one has to be a nine. So that's a seven. This is nine and seven and eight and seven. That's not a seven. Good. Now that's not nine. This seven says this is two. So you're not. This has to be one. This is three, two, three, four. Good. Now, the, two, the three says this is eight. And the three then says this is nine. So that's seven, nine, one, seven. Go away. This is not two. All right, we've got a lot of information now that we can start to dig into some of those other, other uh, sections of the puzzle. So let's take a quick gander at Sudoku. One of those is one, one of these is one. We know there can't be a one on this guy. So it's one of these two, which means this one is our one. You, not you. Let's just plop that in there while we're here. This is seven, we said that already. I don't know why it went back to nothingness. Probably accidentally hit delete or something like that. This has to be a one, two, three. So this is the two, three, Go away. Okay, um, what then can we say? Let's go back to the Sudoku. What do we have left over here? Something down there? No. Let's think about the twos. One of those. That is helpful because this can't be a one anymore because the two would have to go on here. So this is our one. One of those two. That's it for those. Let's go back to the twos. Yep, you. And some goobly gop over there. Let's try those threes out. One of these is. One of those is. This guy could still be a three. Because this could be a four or five pair. That looks like it would work. Okay. Trying to find those correlations here as we go through this. One of these is a three. Hmm, not seeing a whole lot on those guys. We just have to get to the right value here. One of these will be a four. No, not one of you, one of you. I can't put in my digits correctly. What are you guys? Um, four, eight, nine. This is not eight or nine. There we go. There's a four at least. Uh, then these guys now have to be five and six. So let's put that in. These are three, eight, and nine. Mm, we can make a little reduction. This can't be a nine because you can never get to it. Um, can we do anything with the eight? Yeah, we can. It can't be an eight either. Because if it is an 8, this is a 6, and this is a 7. Doesn't work. This is our 3. Good. All right. Now, 3, 4. Okay, this has to be 5 with the 4 in between them. That puts the 4 here. Good. That guy does what? Puts a 5 in one of those two. That's about all he does. All right, let's see if we can find something up here that we can work with then. 
Anything we can start to rule out. Five. There cannot be a five here. That's what we needed to look at. Because we can't use a four, so this would have to be five, six, seven. Well, where do you put a six? You can't. So this is not five, this is. That then says this is six. And then these will have to be seven, eight. And those are not quite determined, but this is a one, three, where this is the one, this is the three. What are these guys? Seven and six, we can do that. Six and seven. These are four, five, and nine. Do we have anything looking? We do. These are not nines, this is. Thought we might have a four or a five there, but we don't. But let's go here. This is five. Okay. Doing well, doing well. This three here comes and gives us our eight, two, three. That's seven and eight. Let's go down here. You are nine. Okay. Uh, what about you guys? Well, you're a one. And you're just a given eight. You guys have to be seven and two. That's correct, but we don't have a restriction there just yet. Uh, let's see what some of these other guys might do. Anything? Oh, wait, this is a given in this row. It is a four. That doesn't correlate. These are twos, eights, and nines, where you're not nine, you're not eight. And that's about it, it looks like. Okay. Um, oh, the three here is saying this is three. I was like, we, I know we have Sudoku here somewhere. Now we can get into this column. Four, fives, and six left over. This one is the six, which means four, six, five, four. These two have to be five and seven, so we can do seven, five. That's going to break the rest of this open. Two, seven. That forces the eight, the nine, the two, the nine, and the eight. Yep, there we go. So that one was fairly easy to get into once we got the information going. As was expected, like I said, it was going to uh, be one of their easier puzzles that they have. Um, and again, like I said, they've got a lot of them that are like three, fours. I think they might even have a five or something like that in here, which I will never be able to do. Let's probably be honest about that. I mean, unless somebody um, labels a five as what should be actually a three, it's highly unlikely I'll ever solve it, but that's fine. I don't need to do all those crazy um, high-end math gymnastics sorts of things. So anyway, I'm babbling on. Really good puzzle. I really like this one. Um, again, there's probably, I think, 20 of their puzzles they've already got up here. So we've got some to dig through, but wanted to at least get this one in there to get things started, get a little taste of their uh, setting style. And then we can we'll start to move up in the difficulty and, and tackle some of those. So with that said, hope you all enjoyed this one and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.